Today on the show, we're going to be talking about gods of Egypt. Gods of Egypt. Gods of Egypt. Gods of Egypt is a mess. Gods of Egypt is a waste. Oh, fuck. Oh, Gods of Egypt. <laughs> Egypt is so far one of the biggest flops of 2016 with a 140 million dollar budget only making 14 million dollars on its opening weekend only 10 percent of how much they spent on this thing what was Lionsgate thinking why did I go see this movie uh, let's get into it right now that's of Egypt was a mess you know I just saw the Razzie Awards they just came out and I hear that Fantastic Four shared worst picture with Shades of Grey and I think that, that 2016 has already found it's like Razzie Award winner. Like, I feel like this is a contender for worst movie of the year already. Gods of Egypt was a big fat mistake. So here's the plot. This is a fantasy adventure movie set in ancient Egypt, loosely based upon ancient Egyptian mythology. Uh, we have on his coronation day, on Prince Horus's coronation day, his father, good King Osiris, is cut down by his evil brother Set, played by Gerard Butler, who takes over. And so now it's up to a plucky thief uh, who makes a deal with Horus when his eyes popped out by Set uh, to get his eyeballs back so he can defeat his fucking evil uncle and take his throne back and in return the dude wants his hot girlfriend with her boobies resurrected because she died. Ugh, why did you go see this movie? Uh, okay, so I got a few reasons. I, you know, I'm a very layered and complex person, so I've got layered and complex reasons for seeing this movie. First of all, uh, I love ancient Egypt. I'm a sucker for it, so anything that comes out that's set in ancient Egypt, I'm generally gonna go see, even though it's always terrible. Uh, Exodus, Gods and Kings, I saw that, whatever. Uh, another point that I'd like to bring up is that I love bad movies. I grew up on Mystery Science Theater 3000. Uh, that's like my whole deal in life sometimes. And so yeah, I am a big fan of bad movies and I was hoping that this was gonna be like my new favorite bad movie, okay? Because like last year we had uh, I Frankenstein come out with Aaron Eckhart and I loved it. It was so wonderful. I have it on Blu-ray. I play it. Uh, it's one of my favorite bad movies and I was just like, maybe this will be my next I Frankenstein. But it is not my next I Frankenstein. <laughs> So tell me about the movie. This movie is so exciting that it's boring, okay? The, the soundtrack is always just like, it's so overdone. It's always telling you how to feel. It's always like, ah, like all the time. And you're just like, whoa, like calm down. This scene doesn't even have any tension. You know, it's like a whole thing. Um, also, there's just not a lot of intelligent restraint going on in this movie. I What's knew, that mean? well, okay. So I knew this was gonna be a CGI fuck fest where there's just like way too much CGI that's gonna be kind of ridiculous. But this was like even more than I was anticipating, where everything is like a hundred times bigger than it needs to be. Uh, you have like, oh, like here's a scene with some, like a waterfall. And so they have like 50 waterfalls that are like five miles high. And it's just like, couldn't you just, I don't know, make something that's like more realistic. And everything was like that. Like whether it was, you know, you see this, the city where the gods live and there's like, 50 pyramids topped with gold and like these roofs that look like giant lotuses and like the whole thing is so overly, Too many lotuses. It was too many lotuses. It's so overdone that it takes you out of the film that you don't believe any of it because it looks like a video game. And it felt like a video game too. Like a lot of the action and stuff like that was just like, am I watching someone play a video game felt or is this like a movie? It felt like a video game. Yes, it felt like a video game. Uh, a lot. And I'm not like, I mean, I do enjoy watching some video games, but this is like, I wanted a movie and not to watch someone play a video game. That was kind of what I was here for. Also, the movie is like way too long. It is like two hours and seven minutes long. And that is a lot. Too long. Way too long. So long that my eyes gave out. Like, cause there's just so much CGI going on. Like there was so much that it, literally my eyes hurt. And I was like doing this to like watch it like towards the end. Gods of Egypt was a mess. You know, this movie was just something else. It was, uh, Gods of Egypt was the number one box office flop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Marco Rubio um, said Gods of Egypt was the best movie he ever saw. Have you been watching Fox News again? You better stop it. 
Look, people watch this show because I'm the world's number one robot movie critic. That's true. They want to hear me tell it like it is. Alex Proyas. Proyas. Okay. People don't like hoity-toity, pink-haired movie critics talking all smart. That may be true. <laughs> I definitely... I, uh, yeah, that's a thing. People want to hear, Gods of Egypt is a mess. Let me tell you about my favorite scene in the movie, which is like my only favorite scene in the movie. Um, you have... Uh, them literally depicting Egyptian mythology where uh, sun god Ra, like he has this chariot and like he he like drags the sun across the sky every day and then he brings it back, you know, and then he battles this fucking monster every night to like bring the sun back, right? So they literally do this in the movie, which was like so awesome. They have like Horus flies up with Beck to his like grandfather's ship, right? He's got a ship in space. It's not a chariot. It's like a big ass crazy techno ship. And uh, he's literally has the sun on like a chain and he's like tugging it across a flat earth. Like they animate this awesome flat earth. And uh, so you see him tugging it along and then he goes every night, he goes to the other side and the underworld is on the other side of the flat earth. And so he goes under there with the sun to like give them the sun. And then like this chaos monster that's like this giant sandworm smoke monster with like a billion teeth shows up and then he gets his, his uh, fire staff and he's like, ah, ah, <laughs> he like does that literally. And he shoots the monster in the face with some fire until the monster goes away and doesn't eat the earth. And that was awesome. Oh my God, it was so much fun. Well, did that make the rest of the movie good then? Um, no, it didn't redeem the rest of the movie, but it is like that clip is worth watching. I have to acknowledge the fact that uh, there is a lot of controversy about the whitewashing going on in this movie. And here are my thoughts and feelings on the subject. Uh, this movie is a shit show, all right? Like, this is embarrassing for any person of any race to be in. Let's get a real good Egypt movie. Like, honestly, I would love a real movie that's like awesome about ancient Egypt and then get like real Egyptian talent for that movie. Don't, don't put them in this one. Like, the, they're, it's a good thing that there's a bunch of white assholes looking like dickheads in this movie. CNN reports, Gods of Egypt director lashes out at Facebook critics. Uh, director Alex Proyas, who did The Crow, uh, which is awesome. Dark City, which is a very flawed movie. Uh, I never saw iRobot. But uh, he got really upset at all the critics who've been bashing this movie. Uh, and this is, I quote, he says, now we have a pack of diseased vultures pecking at the bones of a dying carcass, trying to peck to the rhythm of the consensus. I applaud any filmmaker who values their own opinion enough not to base it on what the pack mentality say is good or bad. And while I absolutely agree with Alex, yes, there is a problem in Hollywood where you have all these people and they jump on the bandwagon, all these movie critics, you know, and you have group think and everyone's afraid to say, you know, that they think a movie is bad if everyone else thinks it's good or afraid to say they think a movie is good if everyone thinks it's bad. I totally get that. You're totally right, Alex. But that's not the case with this movie, all right? This movie is just kind of bad. And unfortunately, like, I wanted it to be good. Like, trust me, like, I mean, even if it was like just good, bad, like it didn't even have to be good, good. I needed good, bad. You know, I was willing to take a little bit of both. But unfortunately, this was a little like bad, bad. And I don't think this guy should be thrown in director jail, you know? He's made some great movies in the past. I'd like to see him, you know, try his hand on something else. Unfortunately, this just wasn't the one. And next time, I would like to see less CGI. Gods of Egypt was a mess. <laughs> and everybody knows it. <laughs> and everybody knows it. Oh, man. I was rooting for this movie. Like, I really was. Like, I really, I was really rooting for it. Just like uh, director T-Bone, we went and saw Fantastic Four, and he was hoping that Fantastic Four was gonna be the new Catwoman, you know? Because Catwoman is a so bad, it's good movie. Like, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. And it just, it wasn't. So this was kind of like my Fantastic Four this year, where I, I was seriously looking forward to this movie for like three or four months. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, I was like telling all my friends, I was like, oh, it's an Egypt! And yeah. Robot steaks are the best steaks, and you can only buy them at the Sharper Image. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Robot steaks. Get them while they're hot. <laughs> Don't put them in the microwave, though. They'll, <laughs> it's not good. Fully microwavable. <laughs> no, no. Star Wars Episode Eight was the best movie I ever saw. That hasn't even come out yet. And you didn't even see Force Awakens. And you haven't seen Gods of Egypt. Look, Comic Girl Book 19. If you want to be a successful movie critic like me, 
you got to tell people what they want to hear. And people want to hear Gods of Egypt was a mess. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> it's the number one tip for business. I... Yeah, well, I think I feel like you've been watching like a little too much Fox News. I feel like you're getting a little you're being influenced by this election going what? on. No. Is Come on. All the polls are telling me that people love me. <laughs> I have the best polls with the Mexicans and the Hispanics. You've because done... I tell people what they want to hear. He's done more for minorities than anyone robot has. <laughs> Gods of Egypt was a mess. <laughs> um <laughs> Marco Rubio said Gods of Egypt was the best movie he ever saw. Is that right? Is that True. right? Is that right? It's all um, over the internet. It is. It is. It's sure. I you know, I don't pay attention because I'm a political nihilist, so You're just a pink haired llama. <laughs> it's a, I believe in nothing, Lebowski. I believe in nothing. Vote for um, Robot, twenty fourteen. Yeah. And sixteen. Twenty fourteen? It's a little late on that one. Um but also this year, too, if you missed it two years ago. <laughs> if you missed it. Um, so thank you guys for watching my Oh My Gods of Egypt review. Uh, it was so much fun. I'm so glad you're here with me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all those sorts of awesome things. And vote for Robot. Um, and vote for Robot. Robot has the best movie reviews and everybody knows it. Yeah. I have number one with the Hispanics and the Mexicans. It's All the polls say robot is the best. It's true. It's true. It's true. Uh, also, uh, right now, the Comic Book Girl 19 Weird Ass Calendar 2016 is on sale for $16. You can get it on our uh, comicbookgirl19.com situation going on our website. We've got links below in the description. We have the best calendars and the best prices, and everybody knows it. And everybody knows it. Uh, everybody knows it. And uh, and while you're at it, don't forget to tell me what is your favorite So Bad It's Good movie in the comments below. Uh, you know, tell me, was The Last Witch Hunter like a really good one? Because I feel like I missed that and maybe it could be my new eye Frankenstein. I don't know. Uh, you guys let me know what's the deal. Gods of Egypt was a mess. <laughs>